Welcome to the CTB News Channel. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the hottest news of the day. Our newsletter today includes the following. In his memoir, Prince Harry finally breaks his silence regarding the Uncle Andrew scandal. In his recently published tell-all book, Spare, Prince Harry addresses the crisis concerning sexual assault charges leveled against his uncle, Prince Andrew. Harry had previously been silent on the matter, because of his association with the late convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. The already troubled reputation of the ailing Prince Andrew has been tainted. In 2021, victim Virginia Jufri of Epstein's sexual assault filed a lawsuit against Andrew, accusing him of the crime. In 2019, Andrew gave an interview to the BBC that is generally considered to be a train wreck. In the interview, he failed to adequately justify his friendship with Epstein, while also attempting to discredit Jufri and her allegations. This interview is widely considered to have been a train wreck. He has never wavered from his stance that he is innocent, within a short period of time following the consequences from this interview, Andrew made the announcement that he would be stepping down from his public positions in order to save the royal family from disgrace. In January 2022, with the ascent of Queen Elizabeth II, the roles were eliminated forever. This occurred a month before the prince resolved Jufri's case out of court for an amount that was not disclosed, the much-anticipated memoir that Harry is writing is rumored to contain a revelation in which he states that he expected the royal establishment to continue to provide security for him even after he stepped down from his position as a senior royal. Particularly in light of the continued support for his uncle's security provided by the establishment, Us Weekly cites Harry's writing on the topic, in which he says, he was mired in a horrible scandal accused of the sexual assault of a young lady, and no one had so much recommended that he lose his security, and adds that, no one had so much proposed that he lose his security. Whatever grievances people had against us, sex crimes weren't on the list, remarked Harry, who now resides in the state of California, which is Meghan Markle's native state. Harry and Meghan Markle were married in May 2018, a month after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced that they would step down from their royal duties, a decision was made in February 2020 by the Royal and VIP Executive Committee of the United Kingdom Home Office to remove the police bodyguards that were paid for by taxpayers and assigned to protect the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, when Harry, Meghan, and their children traveled to the United Kingdom in January 2022. He released a statement explaining that he was unable to pay for the costs of their personal protection out of his own pocket, according to what was written in the statement, Prince Harry had, inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He is still sixth in line to the throne, and he has completed two tours of military duty in Afghanistan. Additionally, in recent years, his family has been the target of well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. His status as a member of the royal family has not altered despite the fact that his function within the institution has shifted. Neither has the danger that he and his family are in, despite the fact that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex privately finance a private security team for their family, this security cannot mimic the essential police protection that is needed while they are in the United Kingdom. Since they do not have access to this type of protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to go back to their residence. It was stated that the level of security around the release of spare had been increased in order to assure that there would be no leaks. However, copies were obtained by Page Six in the United States and The Guardian in the United Kingdom before media outlets were able to translate a small number of Spanish-language copies that were put on sale in Spain on Thursday, ahead of the official release on January 10. These copies were made available in Spain before the official release on January 10th. Share or comment on this story. Thank for watching.